Welcome back everyone and a good Sunday morning. We have a cold front approaching from the north. We've been watching this for several days now. The main reason we're giving it so much attention is because it's going to be a slow moving front and it's going to provide several chances for rain both today, tomorrow and even the next day. Right now it's hanging out on the north side of town approaching Manhattan as we speak and we're seeing a few thunderstorms pop up east of Topeka and near Osage as well. Nothing crazy, but it is interesting that there's enough instability in the air already this morning to bring us those chances. This cold front is attached to a bigger system moving through the Chicago area through Missouri, most of Kansas. And again, that's going to be the focal point for our rain chances here in the next few days. Outside our Lawrence cam, I tried to position it so we could get a chance to see one or two of those lightning bolts that were showing up on radar, but we're not going to get a chance right there. A little bit further west Manhattan where the front is arriving. We're seeing that cloud cover uh, break apart just a little bit, but for the most part, we're watching mostly cloudy skies today with a few isolated showers. 86 right now. Dew points are in the middle 60s. Winds out of the south southwest 8 miles an hour. More temperatures across the viewing area. 81 in West Topeka and then a little bit further west near Riley Manhattan Junction City. We're seeing some middle 80s out there in that cold front is just to the north of folks near Manhattan. So keep in mind this light yellow we're seeing right here and then dark orange. That's the difference in temperatures and that's where the frontal boundary is and that's where we're going to start to see that cool down a little bit later today. Typically this time of year we see an average high of about 91. We're going to be pretty close to that today. In fact, we're already approaching that uh, here in Topeka this morning. Some temperatures in the middle to upper 80s, but this afternoon models are in fairly good agreement that this front's going to kind of move to the south and it's going to be a slow mover but by three or four o'clock today we'll be seeing some upper 80s and some lower 90s but notice the south side of the viewing area where that front doesn't have a chance to get to quite as quickly we could be seeing some middle to upper 90s uh, for folks near Burlington and maybe Emporia as well. Early Monday morning, 70s to wake up, and then by the afternoon, depending on how much time the atmosphere has to recover, we could be seeing some lower 80s again. I'm not on board with these 70s just yet, but we're watching that closely uh, for potentially an even cooler day heading into the beginning of the work week. Isolated showers for this morning moving throughout the area. I'd say most people uh, as far south as Emporia and Burlington as well have a good chance to see at least an isolated raindrop or two today, maybe a thunderstorm, especially as we head towards the afternoon hours. And then that front is going to be hanging out right along the I-70 corridor through the evening tonight and into Monday as well. Notice the north end of the viewing area near Manhattan, Marysville, Holton, Hiawatha. Some better chances for thunderstorms early Monday morning right around sunrise. Another round moves through in the afternoon. Again, more isolated and scattered in nature. Uh, and these chances, they kind of just keep on coming. The weather's going to be a little bit unsettled for the next few days, kind of like a little uh, relief. It's a nice treat for what we have been going through. Uh, the better chances for more accumulating rainfall up north, but we're really just not expecting a whole lot from this system here moving through the next couple of days. All right, our forecast for the week. We will be having lower 90s today. A few storms will be possible. In fact, we're already seeing a few of them move throughout the area. And then as we head into our Monday, we're going to be cooling down into the lower 80s. And even though models were showing some 70s out there, it's really not that far out of the question with some morning storms possible, even more showers and storm chances this week.